memorize another one. I, I remember that the I guess it was the Gideons come in there or something, and they come in there and they said, this is in fourth grade. They had these beautiful little testaments, different colored ones, you know. They said, if you memorize a verse and come and tell your teacher, quote it to her, and they gave us two or three verses you could memorize, you'll get one of them New Testaments. And I'm going to tell you right now, I was in the fourth grade. That's unheard of today, isn't it? But I'm telling you right now, I, I, I wanted one. I really wanted one of those things. The, uh, I, you know, I was in the fourth grade. And so I took and, boy, I went back over my desk and I started reading, 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 looking, 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 reading, reading. And finally I got it and I went to the, to the teacher. And, you know, I, I, I might have stumbled a little bit, but she gave me the New Testament. I praise God. Amen. So uh, I was happy with that. And uh, that's an awesome thing. You know, I got a New Testament at my house somewhere that when I was in Vietnam, I wasn't sold out to the Lord like I should have been, but I was 19 years old. They sent me out there in the jungle, and I stayed in the jungle for 10 and a half months, and God brought me out of there alive. But what I'm going to tell you, I had a little ammo pouch about that big, and it was the only thing, monsoon rains, I had it back here on my pack, and it would keep me, I would in that ammo pad, pad, pouch, I had, I could write letters. I had paper in there that I could write. And I had a dry T-shirt in there uh, that I would put on when I would crawl up under my little thing or in my uh, box or whatever, that dry T-shirt. And But I had a little testament that they gave me up here at the courthouse in the federal building. When they swore me in, they gave me a little testament. And I took that little testament and I carried it with me the whole time. Never read it much, maybe a few times. But I felt good with that New Testament right here on me the whole time I was in Vietnam. And when I come back, I got that New Testament somewhere. And I'm ashamed to say I didn't read much in it, but I knew it was God's word and I kept it with me. Got blowed off a track with that testament on my back. I got it at the house somewhere. I need to look it up and find out. But it was God's holy word. Amen. And it had Psalms 23 in it. And so there's something about God's holy word, the truth. I want you to look at the truths and, the, and what's in here, the Psalm of the Psalm of David. There's 14 blessings in Psalm 23. Did you know that? Look here. The Lord is my shepherd so he's my shepherd uh he making me to lie down green past he leave me beside the still water he is my shepherd the lord is my shepherd and we see there's no want he make me lie down in green paper the lord is my shepherd i shall not want y'all see them blessings he's our shepherd i shall not want there's a blessing ain't it and so let's go a little bit further right there he, he, he lies me down in green pastures. You see that? He maketh me to lie down in green pastures. He leadeth me beside the still waters. So I rest in green pastures, and he guides me to still deep waters of rest and refreshing. Y'all see the, 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 the blessing there that's in that? It said, he maketh me to lie down in green pastures, he leadeth me beside the still waters. There's something about going out sitting around a pond or a lake or a stream or something. You know, Jesus loved the Sea of Galilee so much. His headquarters was in uh, uh, Caesarea up there at the, end, the the top part of it up there. And that, when I go to Israel, that's where I want to hang out most of the time. I, I want to go to Jerusalem, but up there is where he hung out and was there and you know, Nazareth was over to the left about so many miles over, and he was raised there, but then he, his uh, uh, headquarters with the 12 disciples were Galileans. Did y'all know that? And uh, I was reading, I've been reading and studying the Bible, and as I read and study, I picked up that the four Gospels, Matthew was written for the Jews. What did Jesus say when he told his disciples, go out, the Jew first? They didn't want to receive it, did they? 
but Matthew was built, I mean, was wrote for the Jews. Of course, it's for us too. But the other gospel, Mark, was written for the Gentiles. Who is that? That's us. And the other one, which is Matthew, Mark, and Luke, the physician, who was he written for? He, who would he write mostly for? The Greeks. And man, I love this next one. I love all of them. But John, uh, the revelator, okay, he wrote the book of John for mankind. You ever notice sometimes when I see people get saved or and I encourage them to start reading the Bible. I always try to encourage them to go in the book of John because it's a book of love and the power of God is for mankind. Well, uh, that's an awesome thing that God has given us. Amen. And, and he's given us his holy word. Now, you know, he's, he's, he's God. He's perfect. And he's our keeper. And we can rest in him. He's perfect. He's perfect rest in God. Did you, you know that? And uh, did you know in God, in this thing, we're, uh, this uh, uh, psalm we're looking at here, there is perfect guidance here. And uh, they is, we're going to read some more of this here in just a minute. There is perfect peace in Psalms 23. There is perfect trust in Psalm 23. In Psalms 23, he is our defense. In Psalm 23, they is, I preached on help this morning, perfect help through our, our Lord. Amen. There's no fear. There's safe patches. And our cup's going to run over. That last part is just awesome. And uh, let's go a little bit further right here. He maketh me to lie down in green pastures. He, he leads me beside the still waters. It's refreshing. And uh, you know what he does? He restores our soul, doesn't he? Sometimes we get trodden down a little bit and everything. And he restoreth my soul. He leadeth me in the path of righteousness for his name's sake. So he directs our path to doing the right things, doesn't he? We know what to do and how to do the right things because he directs our path. Amen. So that's an awesome thing. And, uh, you know, uh, I'm, I've got some good reference here in my Bible too I try to inject that into this uh, also but he restores my soul he leads me in the path of righteousness for his name's sake and look right you see how packed full of blessings this Psalms 21 uh, 23 is yea though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death I fear no evil for thou art with me thy rod and thy self they comfort me a military man go grab a hold of that and right there y'all see that it says, Yea, though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I will fear no evil, for thou art with me, thy rod and thy staff. They comfort me. Y'all see that? That's an awesome thing. I'm going to look and see what, uh, you know, the comfort of the shepherd's rod and staff is, is there. And uh, it's an awesome thing. And he prepares a table of food in the presence of my enemies. Look here. Thou preparest a table before me in the presence of my enemies. Thou anointest my head with oil. My cup runs over. I like to get in God's house and the power of God moving. When I walk out of these doors, my cup has been running over because we were God. Our cup is running over. Amen. And when it runs over, you're going to go out there and I hope you're going to spill it on somebody. Amen. Think about our cup running. He's our comforter, and he prepares a full table for us. And, uh, you know, let's look right here, and it says <clears throat> this last verse right here. I, <clears throat> I tell you who, who really brought this to my attention one time. We was out, I think we was in Dominican Republic, and old Bill Posey, was, me and him was talking, we was there, and he was, we was talking about this verse. He might have preached on or something. I don't remember what it was, but it really grabbed a hold of me, and it stuck with me. Surely goodness and mercy shall follow me all the days of my life. Old Bill said that. I don't remember if he was preaching or we were talking. He said, I love the last part of that Psalm 23. Look at here. Surely goodness and mercy shall follow me all the days of my life, and I will dwell 
in the house of the Lord forever. Y'all see that? Is that comforting and, and does that give us assurance this evening? Look at here. Surely goodness. And uh, Ronnie asked me what uh, what was the name of the message uh, tonight. That's what, it, what I put down, goodness, ain't it, Ronnie? Look right here. Surely goodness and mercy shall follow me all the days of my life. I want goodness and mercy to follow me. That's God Almighty. And uh, I will dwell in the house of the Lord forever. You and I, our hope tonight is we're going to dwell in the house of the Lord forever. A Christian has that benefit package the world don't have. When we become a Christian and become a believer, we have the benefit package that the world don't have. We're going to dwell in the house of the Lord forever. And our cup, surely goodness and mercy shall follow me all the days of my life, and I will dwell in the house of the Lord forever. Now let's look. Uh, you know our brothers and sisters in the, in the Hebrew, the faith chapter, if you want to really get excited this week, get in the faith chapter and read Hebrews chapter 11. You see all of our brothers and sisters that went through a lot of stuff, and, and they are our heroes. I'll tell you right now, of course. Uh, let's look right here and see. They were looking for a better land, a better country, okay? Look here. Oh, Abraham, some of them. For he, Abraham what? For he looked for a better city which has which uh, hath foundation, which builder and maker is God. You see, he, uh, Abraham all of them was looking uh, for the Christ, and we're here looking for the Christ uh, to come back, and they were looking for him to come. You see, look here, though. For he looked for a city, and what is that city? New Jerusalem. It's going to be awesome. That's where he's going to dwell. What did the, one of them say? I think it was him even said, you know, we're just pilgrims passing through. You see, we down here on this land, we in, right now we're in the enemy's territory. We're Christians, and we walk in his territory because we're in the kingdom of God, and we're ruled by the kingdom of God and his, uh, 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 his order. Amen? And uh, we're not of the kingdom of this world. We're in the kingdom of God, y'all. Look right here. For he looked for a city which hath his foundation, whose builder and maker is God. Through faith also Sarah herself received strength to conceive. Now, she was 90 years old, y'all. That was supernatural, was it not? To conceive a seed and was delivered a child, and she was past age because she judged him faithful who had promised. And Isaac's name means laughter, I believe, don't it? Because she literally heard God talking to Abraham and said, your wife Sarah is going to have a child. And, she, and they, it was a curtain right there. And she heard everything they were saying. So she started laughing. And so God asked her, said, why are you laughing? He confronted her about it. And Isaiah means laughter. But look at here. Through faith, Sarah herself, and she finally got a hold of it, didn't she? Herself uh, conceived seed and was delivered of a child when she was past age because she judged him faithful who had promised. You know, Abraham judged, uh, loved God, and he knew beyond a shadow of a doubt he was his friend and he would fulfill all everything that he told him. Now, how did the old saints get saved? Jesus hadn't come yet. Through faith. They had faith that he would do and he was who he said he was. And... Uh, Praise God for that faith. Oh, Abraham, boy, he had faith. He took his only son up, and uh, there's going to be, uh, think about that, and was gonna, he was literally going to kill his own son for sacrifice, but God told him to do it. But he, Abraham had enough faith in God. If I kill my son, he'll raise him back up. And he raised the knife to get him, and the angel said, Abraham, Abraham, stop. There was a lamb in the bush over there for the sacrifice. He, God provided the lamb, didn't he? He provided Jesus, didn't he? Think about it, how that was ripping Abraham's heart out that, he, that God told him to take his son up there and sacrifice. Can you imagine the walk up to Mount Moriah? Therefore sprang there even of one and him uh, as good as dead, so many as the stars of the sky in, the, in a multitude. And she 
as the sand which by the seashore innumerable. Now God told who? Told Abraham that he was going to be like the stars of the sky and all of that. It was going to be there. Think about it. You know that? You see that? Praise God. Let's go a little bit further right here and look and see. God's an awesome God and we love him. The word says right here, these all died in what? Faith. And not having received the promises, but having seen them afar off and were persuaded of them and embraced them and confessed that they were strangers. And there it is. Pilgrims passing through. Did you know we're just pilgrims down here passing through? we got a better land we're going to be in, y'all. And uh, I think that's exciting right there uh, to look at that. Look here. And the word says, For they say that such things declare plainly that they seek a country. And uh, we're seeking. It says right here, we've seen it in verse 6 of 23, Surely goodness and mercy shall follow me all the days of my life, and I will dwell in the house of the Lord forever. Y'all see that? We, we read it a while ago. But let's go a little bit further. i got uh, uh, another verse here I want to read. And truly, if they had been mindful of that country from which they came out, they might have had opportunity to have returned. Look right here. But now they desire a better country, that is, a heavenly, uh, wherefore God is not ashamed to be called their God, for he hath prepared for them a city. Y'all see that? That is awesome. Now I got another scripture here I want to read. We just went through Psalms 23. You see uh, Abraham and them looking for another country too, another place. You see that? We're looking for the same thing. We got no want. We got rest and guidance and safe patches, no fear cups running over. We have the faith of God Almighty. So you can get in that Psalms 23 and you can read it when you need to be encouraged. Think about it. Let's look at this last scripture that I, uh, I put in here. Some of you know it, know this one right here, but uh, let not your heart be troubled. You believe in God, believe also in me. In my Father's house are many mansions. If it were not so, I told you. I go and I prepare a place for you, and if I go and prepare a place for you, I will come again and receive you unto myself. If where I'm at, you're going to be, be, may be also. So we got that to look forward to, y'all. That is an awesome thing that we need to uh, remember, and we need to encourage each other with Psalms 23, y'all. That's an awesome psalm, amen? And uh, so we need to, uh, Psalms 23, sometimes when you, you need encouragement, you need guidance, you need strength, and uh, you need a safe passage, or you need your cup to run over, get in Psalms 23. Circle it, get in it, highlight it in your book. Let's everybody bow your head, please. Father, thank you for tonight. Thank you for all the testimonies, and thank you for loving us. And uh, we give you praise, and we give you glory. We bind the devil from stealing anything that's accomplished here tonight, O oh God, in Jesus' name. <coughs> and, Lord, I pray you'll go with everybody that's in here. <coughs> I pray that you're going to bless everybody that's in here in a special way. <coughs> I pray, God, that uh, this week they'll be blessed. Beautiful weather coming this week, and springish type weather God and I pray you bless them financially I pray you bless them spiritually and physically God their body if they any sickness in their body in any way I pray you're going to bless them and heal them God in Jesus name thank you for loving us and thank you for being with us tonight thank you God we can come in this house and praise you in the freedom that you've given us thank you Lord in Jesus name everybody said amen God bless you thank you for being here tonight enjoyed it it was good, wasn't it? It's gooder. That's good. I like that. It's gooder. That was. It was good. I, I, I tell you, God's good. It's good to be able to talk about what God's done for us and then hear his holy word. Amen. God bless you. Praise God.